did some side by side interviews with Tony yesterday. You seem genu like genuinely perplexed by a lot of the stuff that he was saying. Why is that? Yeah, he's a weirdo. Like I said, I hate you with facts. He, he come up with all these scenarios in his head. I told him, you got to stop smoking whatever these you smoking, bro. Because he, I don't know, he, he, he be on some, you know, I just let him do what he do. Uh, he talking about I'm a fake and all this, but, you know, let's be honest. The man's a Mexican from Michigan. He can't even speak Spanish. And he talking about, you know, so it's, it's, it, it is what it is. He, he's a weird dude. I don't really like going back and forth with him. It's kind of frustrating. I think you can even see it on my face because I'm just like, bro, like, what are you talking about? Like, they asked him a question about McGregor, and he's bringing up some, you know, I don't even think he really listened. It's, it's just he's a weird dude, and it's hard talking to stupid people a lot. It's rare, it's rare to see you at Lost, lost the World. Yeah, because it's like it's like you can't reason with stupid people, you know what I'm saying? So so when I tell him something, it's like he just like already got the the I don't know, bro. Like so I just let him do what he do. Uh like I said, he been doing all the talking in this fight. I let him do all the talking during the media and, and I'm gonna go out there on Saturday night and I'm gonna show it ain't all talk. So people can say what they wanna say. They can say I'm number six, now they can say I'm number seven, they can say I'm number seventy. After this one, I'll be number one. And there's no denying that. Tony Ferguson has always been the toughest fight. And uh, there's no denying me after this fight.